so let's go let's go over some shoulder anatomy a little shoulder lesson for you guys here so the shoulder um, is made up of a few muscles we're going to specifically talk about the rotator cuff um, so the rotator cuff is a group of four muscles that attach to your shoulder your shoulder blade and your arm so their job is not only to move the arm but it's also to stabilize the shoulder joint um, so compared to the hip the shoulder is technically like a ball and socket. It just kind of sits there a little bit more. So shoulders need a lot more stability around there to support. They're one of the most um, mobile joints in our body. So we do have to have a lot of stability and strength around there. Um, so the, sh the four, four shoulder muscles need to be balanced for them to work properly with each other. So what usually happens is that some muscles get overused and become too strong while others become um, underutilized and they get weak. So if there's imbalance, this puts your shoulder at a risk for injury or like we were saying, some impingements um, or other, other sort of injury risks, right? And they can cause you further shoulder problems. So if you need to know which, um, which rotator cuffs are tight, which ones are weak, um, you know, that's probably something you need to see a physio for and they can tell you what you should be doing, okay? So you'll see in the, the pictures here. So the first one is called your supraspinatus. Basically what it does is helps you abduct your arm or bring it up to the side of your head, kind of that way. That would be your first one. The next one, it, it runs underneath of your armpit. It attaches right on the underneath side of your shoulder blade, comes all the way up into the armpit. And what it does is it helps you to rotate your arm in to those kind of movements. The next one is called your infraspinatus. Attaches on the back of your shoulder blade wraps around in the shoulder and it rotates out and then the last one is a teres major kind of does the same idea as the subscapular it's just some internal rotation essentially they all kind of attach into the same spot in your shoulder and i get a lot of times where people ask me like what is you know why do i have pain outside my arm and going down into the into my arm and it's because of that referral from where all those rotator cuff muscles attach so if you're having pain there it's likely that you have some sort of a rotator cuff um, thing going on where it can cause you some of that stuff down into the arm. If you're getting it all the way into the fingers, not likely from a rotator cuff, it could be from your neck and postural things that we were kind of talking about right at the beginning, okay?